Here's my melalathe. I spoke to you the last time and I had decided to um, melt the motor directly above these drive pulleys here. Since then I've had a message from somebody who knows a lot more about these lathes than me and he's um, told me something about the lathe that is uh, really useful, really important. Previously I had taken this series of pulleys off because uh, this was getting in the way of mounting the motor above and I'd also taken this set of gears off here because as you can see the fan belt goes around it and it gets in the way however what I've discovered from the uh, other chap who gave me some good advice is that there's two pins here one there and one there now with those pins these pins they pass through this gear and they go into this pulley and the same here and with those two pins engaged when I engage this let's see if I can get it in when I engage this lever here the pulleys actually or these gears actually move in and then this whole assembly is locked however if I just pull these pins out see if I can do it one-handed they come out really easily Now, with those two pins removed, the chuck spins independently of these pulleys. So the chuck's spinning, this end gear here is spinning, and these gears are stationary and they spin independently. So now, when I engage this lever, this gear here drives this gear, which in turn drives the smaller gear. And what you then have is a whole new range of speeds. And as you can see, with this engage, it spins very slowly indeed compared to how it did before. Just look at the number of turns this one's doing to the number of turns that one's doing. Okay, so disengage this gear here. I'm now going to put the pins back in, and they only fit one way because they're misaligned, they're not exactly 180 degrees apart. So I did color them, but the colors come off this pin, I think. So they do just push straight back in as easy as that. Yeah, and there's the yellow witness mark there. And there you go. So in addition to finding that out, I had to then find a way to tension this drive belt here. Now it's quite slack now. And the way that I've dealt with that is uh, I've put the set of pulleys onto this plate here and this plate here is bolted into the table I've got a bolt here let's get me pointer so I've got a bolt here which goes all the way through the table and I've left it quite slack because I want the whole assembly to be able to rock in this motion here so that I can apply a bit of tension I've got the same here. Now, this hole here, these are all holes that I've drilled recently. These are previous holes. So it's like this, 
and what I did was I threaded that hole there underneath this hole here so that the bolt can fit in there and then I can tighten that bolt up so right now the whole assembly can rock backwards and forwards as you can see there and by screwing this nut in I can apply some tension like this as it will go down as far as it can or as far as I want it to when I tighten that bolt if I look at the top end here you can see that I've got quite a lot of movement there so I've got a lot of scope to tension it so when I tighten that when I tighten this bolt down that will move the whole assembly down like this and when the assembly moves down it applies tension to the fan belt there which is driving all the gears so now we're back to how I, I was before so the next thing that I'm going to do is mount the motor above this pulley here so I'm going to use the same framework that I built when I was going to mount the motor here but I'm going to need to do some adjustments on where the legs sit and where the uprights sit on the other side so I'll just show you that so there's the mount that I built to house the motor initially and as you can see I painted it red to match the lathe and so far I took these legs off here and I've just repositioned them slightly this one has to come back quite a lot I'll show you here now the mount sits just there so this leg had to come back a bit so that it would miss the pulley arrangement and on the other side these adjustments here for the tension so I had to move this one back corresponding with the opposite leg so now these legs will fit here See if I can get them in without disturbing it too much and the whole thing falling on the floor there you go okay so that leg sits there and it misses all the gearing okay so that's how it should be when it's all put together and as you can see from this bit here once i unscrew these nuts here they're a bit tight at the moment you can see the whole thing will raise up and down and i should be able to get tension when the motor sits above there so i'll just show you with the motor sitting on it but obviously no fan belt okay here's the platform that the motor is going to sit on here's the motor and as I said before, this motor weighs 22 pounds. It's really quite heavy to be lifting and moving around. So there's the motor. Once I've got a fan belt, that motor will drive that. And to get the tension, all I do is unscrew that and as you can see as it, as it moves away as it moves away it applies tension over here and then you just sit it like that so now what I'm going to do is screw the base on this side and the base on that side and then all I'm waiting for is a fan belt so 